joining me today. I'm the Pajama Quilter, Kimberly Crenshaw with Divine Inspirations, and I'm excited to show you how to make the antique tile block. So let's get started. We have three strips, a light, a medium, and a dark, two and a half inches by 18 and a half inches, a light and a medium at two and a half inches by 10 and a half inches, and your medium four and a half inch square. First thing we need to do is go ahead and sew these strips together on the long side. I am a huge believer in pinning. Pin, pin, pin some more. Always start with your left side. That's going to go into the machine. Then go to the right side. I don't know if any of you guys, when you are quilting before, have not pinned and then at the end had it come out like that. We don't want that. That's why we're pinning. And you can go back and do some pinning in the middle as much as you feel comfortable doing. All right, I'm going to sew these strips together really quick, and then we'll be right back. Okay, let's press really quickly. For both of these, we want to press to the dark side. Don't forget to set your seams, that's important. Let your iron do most of the work. You don't want to end up with a lip, but you don't want to press it so far apart that you end up with all of your stitches showing. Because that doesn't look very pretty. Now, isn't this a pretty ironing board? My sweet husband got this for me to go with my periwinkle room. He's such a doll. And now we're going to do some cutting. First thing we're going to cut is this strip right here. We're going to trim off a little bit just to make sure it's super, super even. And then we're going to cut at two and a half inch segments. We're going to need four. This makes such a beautiful block, whether you make a whole bunch of them and stack them right next to each other, or you have just plain blocks in between, or you stick them on point. It's all just, just gorgeous. scraps and I stick my scraps right here in a bed that I'm making for my sweet puppy Faith. Okay, now I want you to cut this strip at four 
four and a half inch intervals and I want you to do the same with this strip set. So while I'm cutting, you can just watch me go super, super fast. All right, wasn't that a lot of fun? Now for some people, cutting is their absolute favorite thing. I go in phases. Sometimes I could spend an entire day just piecing. Okay. Now let's take a moment to match these up, just like this. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now we're going to sew. Put these together. We're going to do a little bit of chain piecing. I love chain piecing. I don't know who the first person it was that came up with it, but they are absolutely brilliant. So we will hurry up and get these done right away. Don't forget to pin. Have a quick question for everybody. Who knows what this is? I would bet that anybody who is a fan of Bonnie Hunter knows what those are and if you do, please leave the answer in the comments section. Now, we are going to iron these. This time we're going to iron toward the rectangle piece for the medium fabric. If we lay out all of those pieces that we've now made, 
we've got a beautiful, beautiful block. I've already gone ahead and pieced these sections together into three rows. For each one, we're going to press toward the sections with the rectangles. That way when we go to put these together, they're going to lock seams very, very, very nicely. So let's go ahead and get these last two seams sewn for this block. Very careful to match up those points, just so. Can you imagine your kitchen backsplash being made out of ceramic tiles that look just like this? In your color preference, of course. I think it would be quite lovely. Now I do hope that if you use this tutorial and you make this block, that you'll share a picture of it with me on my Facebook page, which is Kimberly Crenshaw's Divine Inspirations. And hopefully, if all goes well, every Tuesday, will be Tutorial Tuesday. And I can show you how to make specific blocks or just some techniques or little tips that have made things a bit easier for me over the years. I started quilting in 1995. And yes, I guess I'm aging myself just a little bit there. These little pieces that I'm sewing together at the beginning and end of my pieces are going to be used for a lovely quilt for my husband. And it has 8,100 of those little itty bitty squares. Well, let's go ahead and press this. And let's hope that we've got matching points. Oh, we do. Praise the Lord. I always praise the Lord when my points match. Just to be honest, I really don't know if I can make a match without his assistance. So I might as well give him the glory. Okay, this is exciting. Our very last seam. Yeah. My sweet cameraman, my son Gentry. He's quite shy. Gentry, why don't you tell our viewers how old you are? Fifteen. He's got a pretty deep voice for fifteen, I think. He loves YouTube. So he has an interest in shooting this for me. And I appreciate it quite a bit. Did you know that pinning can be hazardous to your manicure? I just pinned into my nail polish right there. Look at that.
so excited to see how it turned out. I think it looked beautiful. Thank you. He's so positive. Oh, look at those points. Aren't we blessed today? Got little strings, though. And the block is done. Well, I'd like to say thank you for joining me today and I can't wait to see the blocks that you make with the antique tile block pattern. Have a great day and God bless.